Twins, 1988, opened in cinemas. I remember not enjoying it at all. I thought Schwarzenegger was not as good doing comedy as he was being Conan the Barbarian, and that co-star Danny DeVito had been much funnier playing the comic relief in Romancing the Stone. Thanks to a $1 DVD in an odd shop I have now successfully revisited it as an adult, some 35 years later. But it turns out young Grant knew what he was talking about. Twins is terrible lowest common denominator stuff, and showcases just how much Ivan Reitman's more enduring feature films relied on quality screenwriters to get across the line. While there are the odd funny moments and flashes, DeVito is a talented comic actor, after all, this is not some nostalgic gem needing revisiting. You can easily imagine how it came about. Some cocaine addled mid-level executive at Universal Pictures selling their employer on a simple high concept. The twins, right. They will have been enthused to their boss, but they don't even look alike. And one of them is really big, and the other is really short. We'll get the Terminator and the guy from Taxi. It'll write itself. Of course it didn't write itself at all, and instead required four credited writers to assemble the mess than Reitman shot. Something that is interested about it is that it is credited to two teams. William Osborne and Timothy Harris, and then William Davies and Herschel Weingrid. Both teams continued writing similar features in the 1990s, Harris and Osborne to the notoriously bad Stop or My Mom Will Shoot, and Davies and Weingrid to Reitman's much funnier, Kindergarten Cop. One wonders if two screenplays were combined, or if one team rewrote the other. What's presented on screen really does feel like the result of two different directions fighting one another. There is a sense that someone somewhere along the development line chose not to trust the core concept of Schwarzenegger and David of being twins, because it is irregularly saddled throughout with an unnecessary plot about Vincent stealing a car with an experimental jet component in the back and trying to sell it for $5 million. Both halves of the movie are weak, but they're damaged even further by the film refusing to settle on direction or another. If you narrow that film down to its core problem, it's this. The film isn't based in character or story. It is built up from a concept. It is a one-sentence sales pitch without a non-commercial purpose in sight. To draw the majority of its worth, one simply needs to look at the theatrical poster. Schwarzenegger and DeVito as twins? What a ridiculous and silly idea. Maybe you will smile momentarily, maybe not. You have, however, experienced the sum total of twins appeal. Most movie viewers of a certain age will hold a certain level of nostalgia for popular American cinema, but the memory can cheat. Twins may have attracted an enthused mainstream crowd in 1988, but I think it would struggle terribly with viewers today. We are, almost all of us, much more sophisticated viewers nowadays. Schwarzenegger would go out of the other, much better, comedies in the following years, while DeVito would rack up a string of exceptional performances in all kinds of films.